What's up, y'all? With the Film Culture News, it's Frankie J. ASAP Rocky has been in Swedish custody since his assault that took place in late June of 2019. Rocky uploaded a video to his Instagram giving viewers further insight into the overseas brawl, saying, We don't know these guys, and we don't want any trouble. They followed us for four blocks, letting his fans and other viewers know that he did not provoke the incident. Look, just for the cameras, we don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following us. Since his arrest, many artists have supported him, including Jaden Smith, Schoolboy Q, his label mate ASAP Ferg, and one of his closest friends, Tyler the Creator. Free Rocky, Free Rakim, that's my guy. Free Rakim, Free Rakim, I might fly to Sweden to free him. Even Astral World rapper Travis Scott stood by Rocky's side. Let's do it, man. Free Rocky, man, you know what time it is, yes sir. Free there have been conflicting reports of Rocky's condition while in Swedish jail. Early reports said he was living in inhumane conditions. Since then, those reports have been refuted by people from ASAP Rocky's team. After all that went down, you would think that people would 100% support ASAP Rocky and his release from jail. But not many do. In a 2015 interview with Time Out Magazine, the topic of police brutality came up. This was at a time of Mike Brown, an 18-year-old teenager from Ferguson, Missouri, who was fatally shot by a police officer. When asked about his opinion on the situation, Rocky stated, Why would I feel compelled to rap about Ferguson? I'm not about to say that I was going down there throwing rocks at motherfuckers, getting pepper sprayed. I'd be lying. Is it because I'm black? Like, what the fuck? Am I Al Sharpton now? Rocky's comments continued with him saying, I'm ASAP Rocky. I didn't sign up to be no political activist. I want to talk about my motherfucking lean, my best friend dying, girls, my jiggy fashion, and my inspiration in drugs. I live in a fucking Soho in Beverly Hills. I can't relate. Those comments resonated poorly with people in the black community, including the host of the popular urban podcast, The Reads, Crystal West. When a petition circulated to free ASAP Rocky, Crystal tweeted, I thought of this when I heard about ASAP Rocky's situation in Sweden. And so, yeah, as for me and my house, we're still buying that cheap shit at Ikea. Ain't signed a petition either. Joe Budden of the Joe Budden podcast didn't appreciate West's stance and said the following. If, if, any, if any of my uh, peers, friends, uh, if a stranger were in that I don't. That's so nasty on Twitter. I, I saw. I seen that going around. Yeah, I seen it going. Well, that's around. why I asked because I saw a lot of people. On but both, that nasty both sides. ass bum ass home girl. I seen her put it out. Uh, who's that? No need to say. But okay. that one of them podcasts down the Dow. <laughs> <laughs> she put it out. It's just like you, you niggas that be preaching this this pro black shit, but get evil in a heartbeat. Woo. Oh yeah, it's all fake. Woo. Like. I thought the ASAP Rocky sounded like a fucking idiot when he said this. Mm -hmm. I also think he's in a really horrible jam and predicament. I'm certain some of these feelings aren't existing right now. Right. Mm. And, that's like so, and, that's, and that's fine. Like, it's only you fucking idiots that just won't allow life to teach us. Many people from the black community are on both sides of the fence in the ASAP Rocky controversy. On one hand... He is on the record saying very anti-black statements and being unempathetic about his support for Black Lives Matter and black people who are not living in his condition. But he is also another black man who was a victim of a broken criminal justice system. For the Film Culture News, this is Frankie J. Let us know in the comment section if you support ASAP Rocky. Peace. Free rock him, free rock him. And I'm screaming that until they free him. Be clear. <laughs>